Jesus explains, My instructions for those left behind and my provision. April 22, 2015 Words from Jesus to Sister Claire Spoken by Jackie Jesus began, I want to talk to you tonight about spiritual growth. Much of what I've been doing with you all is about spiritual growth. Growing taller, filled out, more stable, well-grounded, ready for anything, because your reality is the spiritual dimension with me, not the earthly dimension, soon to be further emerged in chaos. Not realizing what is coming, people are still planning as if life will go on forever just the way it is now. That is why they will be blindsided by what is about to take place. What I want for you, Claire, is to leave behind as much as you can to elevate people out of that dimension of chaos, which is something only I can do with souls. You see. CERN, clones, and the ruling elite will make many very serious mistakes that will impact their hiding places among the rocks of the earth. Walls of water and magma will open up on them with tragic consequences. They will cry out to those who engineered these spaces. I thought you said this would never happen. But all in vain, only to be swallowed up into the abyss. This indeed will be their just deserts, and so I counsel all to have nothing to do with these underground bases. They are not safe. And yet I will provide safe havens in the deserted areas, places with abundant water, natural caverns, and sufficient food. Just as the angels provided manna in the desert, so will I release to all sufficient sustenance. Many stores of food will never run out. Medical supplies and healing will also be sustained supernaturally by me. Many will come into a full-time healing ministry, tending to the sick and infirm, strengthening and giving comfort to those who have collapsed in fear, those on the edge of death even some to be brought into the kingdom in the last moments of their lives. I have some wonderful things planned for this horrendous time. Many a wall will come crashing down upon the enemy because of prayer. I will supernaturally and literally move heaven and earth to protect the holy ones. Some will be martyred, some will survive but all will be provided for. I will not abandon them to the will of their enemies. Yes, unsurpassed suffering will be witness, but also unsurpassed glory and the triumph of faith. There will be many sent from heaven as visitations to encourage and provide. My angels will be most solicitous for the welfare of the remnant. I'm shielding from the full force of my wrath. Listen carefully to the instructions I'm imparting to you. Prayer will be your greatest weapon and I will teach you how to pray. It will flow from within you without any effort. So strong will my grace be among you. Prayer will well up from inside and overtake you in moments of fear and danger. And you will be kept safely, hidden, as well as have my peace. Many will betray each other, and only discernment by my Holy Spirit will alert you to who cannot be trusted. If you judge by outward standards like what is said, what they look like, how they act, if you judge by normal human standards, you will be fooled. You must rely on me to detect weak souls or those sent to find you out. Again I want to say, this is for the left behind ones, this is not for those who will be raptured. It is important to have these things printed and easy to find. 
Lord, would you please fix my printer? Tomorrow it will begin working again. Begin printing tomorrow, okay? Oh, thank you, Lord. Don't be afraid, Claire. Don't let the enemy do this to you. I know the temptation to be afraid is tremendous because you can see so clearly what is coming. But I have made ample provision for every moment of your life up until the rapture. I want you, beloved, to be an example of peace and security in me, not a trembling little mouse in the corner. I had to laugh. And yet fear is no laughing matter. Rather, it chokes out faith, and you mustn't let it gain ground on you. Recall my promises to you, and how many times I have come through for you, O Israel. How many times did I provide hay for your horses, food for your table, gas for your vehicles, free places to live? Hmm? How many times? And still you doubt me? Come now, what a disgrace you are! Do you want to circle the mountain for forty years? Deep sigh, forgive me, Lord. Jesus, I believe. Help my unbelief. You got your nose into some news of developing events, and that scared you. That's true. Well, it's better if you stay away from such things. They will most assuredly have a harmful effect on your state of mind. Lord, what about leaving supplies behind for our children? I have told you before, I have already provided for them. This would be an act of unbelief on your part. It would also be a powerful distraction. Can you trust me with them? Do you think after all these years of serving me, I will abandon your children? Is it not written that you will never see the children of the faithful begging for bread? I have powerful provisions for them, but because you can't see it, measure it, hold it, you don't believe. Your faith is flagging. Please help me, Lord. Truly, I am a shameful servant. Well, come here, shameful servant, and let me hold you and restore your faith. He held my face closely with his two hands and said, looking deeply into my eyes, only inches from his. Stop worrying about your children. I have ample provision for them. It is all planned out and getting in the middle would only confuse things. Stop worrying. Trust me. I want all your efforts on these souls I have sent you. Be a mother to them, feed them honey from the rock, and weed from the fields of heaven. Oh, how jealous I am for these who are so in love with me. Oh, how I long to protect and nurture them. It is beyond your understanding to know how God adores a soul devoted to him. How can you lead them in faith? if you are weary and stumbling. Nevertheless, I will make up the difference, for my strength is perfected in your weakness, so carry on. Lift the burdens from their hearts, adorn them with garlands of love from the gardens of heaven. Nurture them, Claire, and believe that I am has sent you to their side in these hours of mischief. The devil has devised. I am not done yet, my love.
just as in days gone by, when I supernaturally protected my people, so shall I protect those who must stay behind. There will be one among them who will be designated the leader, and to him or her I will give supernatural knowledge and wisdom. Let not the devils cause division, misunderstanding, murmuring, and jealousy. Be on your guard against these poisons they will use to divide and scatter you all. Together you will survive. Separated, you will face many dangers without anyone to hold you up. Do not let them divide and conquer. Be smarter than the enemy. Walk in charity and humility and you will have no problems. Walk in self-will, selfishness, suspicion and rancor and it will be your demise. There will be many testings among the groups, many testings, painful decisions to make, life or death decisions to make. I will give you peace when the decisions are the hardest. Use lots to help you determine a plan of action. I will be with you as I was with Israel in the desert. I will give you signs of my love, signs of danger, signs when you are going the wrong way. Be attentive, pay close attention to the signs I send you. If you suspect you have made a wrong decision, stop and pray it through. Better to wait on me than to move forward into a trap. There will be times to act and times to wait. It is in the times of waiting that trials will be the most difficult. Pray always, worship and thank me for every safe moment of your journey, for every provision, for every time you evade the enemy. Use my name as a weapon of war, for you fight not against flesh and blood, but principalities in high places and against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Ephesians 6.12 Now I want you all to remember how easy it is to fall into unbelief, to mistrust, to suspect, to be fearful. These are the weapons the enemy will use against you. Forewarned is forearmed. Now, my precious ones, cling to my instructions, for in them lies life and death. Be not afraid of what man does to your body, only your eternal soul. Do not compromise for the sake of your body, your children, your wife, or for any reason at all. I will be with you to deliver you from evil. Pray, deliver us from evil, frequently. It is a powerful prayer. That's all for now, my love. Remember. I promise that your printer will work tomorrow. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I bless you, my brides. Be sure to save and leave these instructions behind. Have courage and keep your eyes on eternity. Amen.